So you're ready to do an oil change on your Prius and you don't want to watch a whole oil change video. You just really need to know where's the filter and, and what do you what do you do with this mess right here? What is that? Well, we got you covered. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews and auto repair videos. So first question, where is this Prius filter? Well, let's take a look. Go over to the passenger side. And you don't have to take the wheel off and everything like I do. There is a filter housing right here. And the filter faces over, over there toward the transmission. The whole filter housing bolts on here. And I've taken it off so I can get it on the bench and show you everything you need to know about the filter on a Prius. So now when it's on the Prius... It's facing the other way and without crawling underneath the car, you can't film it and even then it's very awkward and there's not a lot of light down there so you can't see very well. So I have taken the filter off of the car. When it's on there, it looks kind of like this, but this is the tool you need to get to unscrew the filter and it's a canister type filter. You see it bolts onto the engine right here, the 2ZR engine, and it sits oriented like this. This is the driver's side of the car passenger side of the car and of course it's down low and in the back below so that it'd be most annoying to get to <laughs> they just couldn't just mount it up top somewhere could they that would be too easy so you put your special tool on here and you want to line up these little openings with these teeth right here and there's a couple more over here actually three a wide one and two other ones this one's got a little bit of broke off on the wide one you unscrew that, and then, par for the course, a bunch of oil and everything falls all over you, and out pops the canister filter, but a really black, nasty, oily one. Now, once you get the old canister out of here, you're going to notice that it has this baffle right here. This isn't just sitting there. It's trapped. Let me see if it gets some more light. It's trapped under these tabs. There are four tabs down here four tabs. And there's a reason why I'm telling you about these tabs and this baffle because there's a spring under the baffle. See how the baffle, you push it in, it can move around. And if you wiggle it around too much, it'll pop out from underneath one of those tabs like that. And that could cause a problem. So you want to make sure before you put your filter in there, see, it's not that easy to deal with. Before you put your filter in there that you've got it underneath all four of these tabs correctly. See, that's nice and centered, standing straight up at attention. Now again, you don't have to take this off the car. You don't have to unbolt this and take this off the car to change your filter. You can do this under the car. Just unscrew that and change your canister. But you want to put your canister in the cap with that baffle. Make sure it goes down in there correctly and make sure you don't unseat the baffle incorrectly now it should look like this and then there's an o-ring right here and the o-ring comes with the canister filter and you definitely want to replace this o-ring and then you want to put some oil around this o-ring if you don't want to use oil for some reason you can use petroleum jelly as an assembly lube but don't try to put this in there dry and if you're using either one oil or petroleum jelly I like to put a little bit on the threads too, so it makes it easier for these plastic threads to screw in here and we don't get so much wear and tear on the threads. As these Priuses, this one's got over 300,000 miles on it already. Can you imagine how many oil changes that is? That's a lot of screwing and unscrewing. This is a screwy Prius. This one's had pretty regular oil changes, so the O-ring is still easy to deal with. If yours hasn't had regular oil changes, this may be really hard and brittle and you may have to break the o-ring at one point and just peel it off or use a pick or a screwdriver to get it off don't cut your o-ring when you're opening the package
Now for threads, when I loop threads like that, I just put it in a little patch like that because when you're screwing it in, it will spread itself around. There's nothing in this end. There's no springs, no baffle, no nothing. It's all, it's all in here in the cap. And there you go. And you want to take your wrench on these flats or your hand ratchet and snug it up a little bit. Not too much. Just give it a little grease monkey, not Magilla Gorilla. Don't forget and leave your tool on the filter cap. They're not very expensive, but they could bounce around and bam, right through somebody's windshield. Don't forget to put oil back in your car. I hope that makes things quick and easy for you. If you're interested in doing it and seeing any more hybrid repairs or Prius repairs, we've got a whole playlist of that stuff. Uh, there should be a link in the description below. Till the next video, Get off the couch and get dirty. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews. We've got repair videos. We've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto.